Deep in the forest, Charlie found a balloon, big, red, and bright like the moon. He spun it around like the world on a string. He twirled it and whirled it and made it swing. He flew up high and floated back down. He bounced through the trees like a ball on the ground. He walked at home with his head held high, and everyone cheered as he passed them by. It's beautiful, they shouted, the best in town, the brightest red, the roundest round. Charlie gave it a bath and rubbed its head. He hugged it tight, then put it to bed. Even in the dark, it glowed big and bright, so that Charlie could watch it all through the night. I love you, whispered Charlie. You're my favorite thing. And his balloon spun around like the world on a string. From that day on, they were always together. Fun was more fun. Good times were better. They ran around town. They swam in the pool. Charlie tied it up and took it to school. Charlie loved his balloon. It was his very best friend. They played every day. It was fun without end. Then one night, a storm came rumbling down. It cracked, it thundered, it shook the ground. Charlie tried to keep his balloon by his side, but the wind blew too hard, and his balloon came untied. Charlie jumped up and reached into the stormy sky, but it was too late. His balloon flew too high. Please come back, cried Charlie. I didn't mean to let go. But the sky didn't shine and the clouds didn't glow. Charlie couldn't believe his friend was gone. His face wouldn't shine. His light wasn't on. He imagined his balloon far from home, caught up and tangled and all alone. Then, suddenly, Charlie remembered his balloon, how it shined in the night like the beautiful moon.
how it lit up the dark with the spin of its string, how it twirled and whirled, how it loved to swing. Then he imagined his balloon above a moonlit sea, far higher than the highest balloon tangling tree. I miss you, friend, he whispered into the sky, but I know your light was meant to fly. He closed his eyes and started to dream, and his world became a balloon on a string. Charlie looked around, and to his surprise, stars were actually balloons holding up the sky. And there in the night, he found his friend, shining big and bright in a world without end. I love you, whispered Charlie. You're my favorite thing. And his balloon went around like the world on a string. The end. So I purchased this picture book from my school bookstore in 2015, right after my golden retriever passed away. It was one of the hardest experiences for my family because we shared a special bond with Bowser. I noticed the book as I was exiting the Penn bookstore because I always leave through the back, which is through the children's section. This story so much reminded me of my dog and his very special relationship he had with myself and each member of my household. It is almost as if the balloon truly represented a dog for me and my dog because of the way Charlie seemed to be walking him on a leash, which was his balloon string. Charlie played with his balloon like you would a dog. He'd give it a bath and clean it up. He gave his balloon a hug and loved him up. I'm everywhere like you would your dog. This scene especially reminded me of my dog because when he went to camp, we used to call it school. In the pictures, you can tell that it's autumn. The bright reds and oranges used in mostly all of the illustrations, along with the leaves falling from the trees, gives the season away. Also, it appears that it's blustery and windy, just like in the fall. The leaves are tossed around and Charlie's red balloon and him float in the wind early in the story. Autumn is the season of all things passing over, which is the ultimate theme of this picture book. Yes, there's a theme of friendship, but really the story teaches Charlie about maybe his very first time with the death, like maybe when a child loses a pet. My dog died in the fall, which is another reason why this story resonated with me. The theme of death is even more so captured in this book by showing us the balloon being let go like a soul, or being shown in the sky as if it's in heaven. And seeing Charlie's dream of all the things that have passed before that are in heaven.
But one of my favorite things about this picture book is how the cover pages start with stars and end with balloons, as if they're souls holding the sky up. There are many ways to introduce or teach children about the hard concept of death. It isn't easy, but it's a part of life. For more on this theme of death and loss, come back for a reading on Duck, Death, and the Tulip. This picture book shows a unique way to look at the character of death, who is personified in this story, and the afterlife. This was the Virtual Children's Library. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you again next time.